I hope you're going to have a wonderful day today. Um, it is just wonderful to sometimes wake up and just know that this is the day that the Lord hath made. Um, and so rejoice and be glad in it. Um, <clears throat> And sometimes we've got to look at the scripture and, and we wake up in this time and then God, a lot of people think, you know, it's, well, it is God talking to you, the scripture. But um, and I have some friends that when the scripture that they end up reading that day and they feel like it was meant for them specifically for that day. And I read the scripture the other day and I thought, but I woke up in pretty good mood today. Now you're saying this to me, Lord. So let me read it to you. James 4 verse 8. Draw near to God, and He will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, your cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. And then I went, like, oh, am I am I double-minded and unpure and all my hands dirty, Lord? And I was quite concerned because I wake up like, yeah, I'm like, you know, the birds are singing and the sun is shining, and then this. And sometimes I think God smiles down at us and goes, really, it's just. Sometimes it's meant for you, and sometimes I am double-minded, and I, my hands aren't that clean, and I need to purify my heart. I mean, I'm not saying I'm not a sinner, but, um, <clears throat> and he doesn't live to squash your good moods. That's not what God is. But the beginning, it says, draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. And the way to draw near to God is to cleanse your hands, purify your heart, stop your double-mindedness. And, and that just got me thinking, do we know what it is to have clean hands in front of God? I mean, in this COVID time, it's important to have clean hands because we need to wash away all those things that can, that can harm us physically. But what in the spiritual world is clean hands? Are my hands clean? That that was in my hand, did I use it for the good of God? Did I help my neighbor? Did I think good thoughts? of the guy who rode in front of me and cut me off from the rest of traffic or didn't put his indicator on. And sometimes I, my children say I have um, passive road rage, so like passive aggressive, but passive road rage. I um, will smile at the taxi driver while I'm actually shouting at him and he doesn't even know. And I, of course, think it's hysterical. You know. um, it's just as bad as other road rage. It just doesn't get everybody killed. Um, but does it kill my spirit a little bit? And those are sort of light examples of double-mindedness and not having clean hands. Double-mindedness is, is, yes, dear, I'll pour you some tea, and in your mind you're going, and then I'll pour it out on your lap because you made me so cross just now. Double-mindedness. Am I living, I know, am I trying to literally live with one foot in the world and one foot in heaven? And unfortunately, our physical is here, but we want our spirits to be heavenly and heaven-like. And our experience here is what strengthens our spirit or weakens our spirit. And the drawing close to God is what's going to mean the difference. Because you've got to work hard at the things that aren't godly so that you can get close to God. And, and I named my ministry at his feet for a reason because it's at his feet that we find our purpose our comfort our peace our love but we know that we cannot be at his feet unless we make that conscious decision to draw close to God and when we make that decision to draw close to God our lives change and God changes draws closer to us but it starts with a decision and sometimes we fall and that's okay because that's God teaching us we're going to be recognizing the times we fall and those are the wonderful times because those are if we are changing our lives and we are recognizing the things that are not godly in us we are recognizing God's calling and cause for us and that's good isn't it so that, that person that is not godly or, or our minds that are double-minded and that's changing, when you recognize it and you change, you are doing God's work. When you recognize it and you get angry because somebody pointed it out, then you're not doing God's work. 
the hope of making sense today. But the value is in drawing close to God, speaking with Holy Spirit, recognizing Jesus and his sacrifices and his and his work on earth for us, his healing powers. Because that is why we, we recognize the crucifixion and the resurrection. We do that because we realize that it's the drawing close to God. And the thing that made it possible is what's valuable. The only real thing that's valuable in life today. Hmm. So where are we double-minded? I'm going to go and look at that. I have to look at that every day because there are times when I'm just like, moonlight and wreck and roses. But I'm not happy with you. <laughs> um, and then to speak the truth in love, of course. Where are my hands not clean? And where, do my, where does my heart need to be purified? I'll do it if you do. <laughs> have a wonderful day. And we'll speak again tomorrow. Thank you.